you are going to cash out at an agent point today, you go, you give the agent your number, the amount that you want to withdraw. The agent initiate the transaction, you get a pop-up and you approve. We've also identified certain agents, okay, which we've taken action on them, where it could be a genuine mistake. Maybe I'm, I'm going to withdraw, my number ends with 339, the agent entered 193. So the pop-up comes to you for you to approve. So if you are not careful, you go ahead to approve. So we are bringing back that feature that will allow the customer, first, first and foremost, to select allow cash out, turn it on before an agent can initiate the transaction. That feature will be available on November 4th. So next week, Saturday, that feature will be available and I'm sure you'll get communication to that effect. So anytime you are going to withdraw, so nobody can sit somewhere and send you a prompt now. Before that, you yourself will have to initiate and select allow cash out, turn it on before you can get a prompt. We've also identified another channel where initially where the agent, when you go to do transaction at the agent point, the agent record your number, the amount that you loaded, and all those transactions on his transaction sheets. We've also identified an avenue where people go to the agent point, they look at the transaction, sometimes they just take a picture. So once they take a picture, they know the person who loaded the wallet, the amount you loaded, and they know the agents. So they call you and say, you loaded at this location, this is the amount, so they have that information. So another step we've taken is, henceforth, agents should not record subscriber's number on the transaction sheets. And we've issued them new transaction booklets not to disclose the number of the person who is loading, so that once you go to an agent point, you can't even get the number, let alone call the number. Coming up with an agent registry. That agent registry, amongst other things, is also to help to sanitize the agent network in the country. So all the other telcos would have access and will contribute to the, the formation of the agent registry. So what will happen is that once an agent is blacklisted from MTN or from any of the other telcos, that information will be on the agent registry and will prevent that agent from coming on board any other mobile money service providers network. So that is the concept behind it. Once you are blacklisted, you are blacklisted for the industry. You cannot operate mobile money anywhere in Ghana with any other service provider. And that initiative is being run by the central bank.